Hello everybody, I am Vasanta, Department of Computer Science, Gopal Swami PU College, Mysore. Whereas in the previous class, we explained regarding few concepts on Boolean algebra that is law of addition as well as law of multiplication. In law of addition, 0 plus x equals x we explained with proof as well as imperfect induction method, circuit diagram, all those things we explained as well as 1 plus x equals 1. These are the two laws of addition. When the common law of multiplication, 0 into x equals 0, 1 into x equals x. These are the things, postulates in the previous class we explained. Today we want to continue the remaining thing that is the first time we to explain now idempotence law. What do you mean by idempotence law? Identity, both the variables are in same pattern. In idempotence law, we have two postulates. One is x plus x equals x and the second one is x into x equals x. x plus x equals x as well as x into x equals x. These two are the idempotence law. One by one, we will prove that. First, I am going to start with the first one. On this, x plus x equals x we have. Then how to write the circuit diagram? One is x, one more x here will take. But in between we have plus symbol. Plus symbol means reverse C shape we have to take. Then what is output? Output is also x format. Now while writing the truth table, here only one variable we have that is x. Both the variable are called as x only. Then here take down x only x, x. How many combinations we will get? Only one variable. Then 2 to the power of n is 1. That means only two different combinations we will get. 1 is 0 and 1 is 1. For x we are written 0 and 1. For this x also we write 0 and 1. The output is x plus x. x plus x. That is 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 1 is 1. It is same as your x as well as x plus x. See? See the output, x is same as your x plus x, x plus x equals x only. From this, I can prove that x plus x equals x. This is the circuit diagram and this is the truth table. Then by using perfect induction method, you have to solve this. What do you mean by perfect induction method? Just you have to put x equals 1 one time and then you have to solve. As well as one another time you have to put x equals 0 and then you have to solve. That is nothing but perfect induction method. Whereas in algebraic method, by using postulates we are solving. Whereas in perfect induction method, we are just put x equals 1, one time we will solve and another time we will put x equals 0 and then we will solve. What is the equation? The equation is x plus x equals x. This is the given equation. Now we will put x equals 1 one time and another time we will put x equals 0 and then we will solve one by one. Now for the given equation on the place of x we will put 1. 1 plus 1 equals 1. 1 plus 1 is nothing but here don't write 2 because it is a binary number format. Boolean algebra mainly deals with only binary numbers. In decimal number 1 plus 1 is 2 but in binary 1 plus 1 is 1 only. 1 plus 1 is 1 that is equals to 1. Therefore, right hand side value equals left hand side value. Now come this one. Here put x equals 0. Now what is the equation here? x plus x equals 0. Then put 0 for the x place. 0 plus 0 equals 0. Now 0 plus 0 is 0 equals 0. Therefore, right hand side value equals left hand side value. This is your first idempotence law. Now the second one, what is the second law states? x into x equals x. Both are identity, idempotence law. Now here it is x plus x equals x. Now x into x equals x. Then how to write the circuit diagram? One is x and one more variable is also x. But in between we have dot operator. Dot operator means you have to write D shape. Then what is the output? Once again the output will get x only. This is the symbol. Now, how to write the truth table? While writing the truth table, see, take down once again in the same pattern, only two variables, here also x, here also x. Then 0 and 1. Only one variable we have, that's why only two combinations we will get, 0 and 1. Now, what is the output? x into x. 0 into 0, it is nothing but 0 only. 
1 into 1, the output become 1 only. From this, we can say that x value, it is equals to x into x, see, 0 and 1, here also 0 and 1. This is your truth table. Now, by using perfect induction method, we will solve, that is, x into x equals x, this is our equation. Now, put x equals 1, one time, and then another time, put x equals 0. Then solve that. On the place of x, write on 1. 1 into 1 equals 1. 1 into 1 is 1 only. That is equals 1. Therefore, a right hand side value equals left hand side value. Now, come the second part. Here on the place of x, write on 0. 0 into 0 equals 0. That's why 0 into 0, 0 only. Therefore, right hand side value equals left hand side value. In the exam for 5 marks, they are going to ask, prove idempotence law. On that time, you to write which are the idempotence law. Then further, symbol, true table by using perfect induction method here to solve. Next, we will discuss the next one. On that, we will use law of addition as well as law of multiplication. Whereas in law of addition states that 0 plus x equals x. 1 plus x equals 1. In law of multiplication, 0 into x equals 0, 1 into x equals x. Now, the next one we will discuss about complementarity law. Complementarity law. In this complementarity law, how to solve? There are two complementarity law that is x plus x bar equals 1. And the second one is x into x bar equals 0. These are the two complementarity law. It states that x plus x bar equals 1. And the second law states that x into x bar equals 0. One by one we will prove this. First we will take the first one. How to write the circuit diagram for this one? Only one variable we have x. That's why I take down x. And here x bar we have. Then just negate that. For negation, not symbol here we are using. One is x, this is x and this represents x bar. Here plus shape we have, that's why reverse C shape. Then output will get 1. The output is 1. Now, we will write the true table for that one. x as well as x bar. x we will take and one more is x bar. 0 and 1. X bar means it's the reverse of that. That is here 0 we have then 1. Here we have 1. That's why here it will take 0. Now x plus x bar. If you have plus operator, if any one of the input is true, the output become true here. Here 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. Now is it clear? It means that we will get the output 1 only. See this? x plus x bar equals 1 only. Now, we will write, we will solve this by using perfect induction method. The equation is x plus x bar equals 1. This is the equation we have. Now, put x equals 1 one time, then put x equals 0. Now, for the given equation, on the place of x, we will substitute 1. Here, x bar we have. x bar means here x is 1 x bar means reverse, invert, then 0, that is equals 1. 1 plus 0 is nothing but 1 only, that is equals 1. Therefore, right hand side value equals left hand side value. Now, for the second one, on the place of x, write down 0, then 0 plus. Here x bar we have, here for x we have written 0. Now, x bar means 1, that is equals to 1. 0 plus 1 is nothing but 1. That equals to 1. Therefore, right hand side value equals left hand side value. This is your first complementary law. The first law, complementary law states that x plus x bar equals 1. What exactly the second complementary law states? That is x into x bar equals 0. The first law states x plus x bar equals 1. Whereas the second law states x into x bar equals 0. Now we will prove that. See this is the symbol we are using. 
this is a symbol, this is a truth table and we will solve that by using perfect induction method. Next, here x into x bar we have, we will take one is x, x bar, that is why here we have to negate that, not x bar. Here in between we are using dot operator, dot operator means d shape we have to write, d shape. Then what is the output? Here we will get 0. We will solve that by using truth table. Whereas in truth table, how many variables we have? Only one variable that is x, 0 and 1. One more we required x bar. Whatever x here we have, take down x bar. Then here we have 0, then here 1. 1, 0. x into x bar. In x into x bar, see this? If you have dot operator in between on that time, the output is true only when all the inputs are true, otherwise it is 0. Whereas here in one case it is 0, in another case it is 1. Then output becomes 0 only. Now 1 into 0, the output becomes 0. Therefore, x into x bar equals 0. Here the output we will get 0 only. Now is it clear? Next, we will solve this by using perfect induction method. That is x into x bar equals 0. Now, put x equals 1 one time. In another time put x equals 0. Now on the place of x substitute 1. Now on the place of x we have substituted 1. x bar we have x bar means 0. Just reverse of that. That is equals to 0. See the equation. Now 0 in 1 into 0 is nothing but 0. That is equals to 0. Therefore right hand side value equals left hand side value. Next, take on the second one. On the place of x, substitute 0. x bar means reverse of that. 1 equals 0. 1 into 0 into 1 is nothing but 0. That is equals to 0. Therefore, right hand side value equals left hand side value. These are the two complementary law statement. The first law states that x plus x bar equals 1. And the second one states that x into x bar equals 0. Next, we will move with the next one that is involution law. What exactly the involution law states? In involution law, the complement of the same variable, once again if I am going to complement, then we will get the original value. That we will prove that once again now. See, that is involution law states that. Involution law. On this law, it states that x double bar equals x. Now, we will prove that once again. First, we will write circuit diagram. Only x here we have only one variable. Then here write down the output. If it is x, then here we will get x bar. Once again, negate it. Then here the output becomes x double bar. x double bar is nothing but x only. This is the circuit diagram. Now, truth table. How to write the truth table for this one? Only x here we have and then x bar. Once again, we will x double bar. Then 0, 1, here reverse of that. Reverse of that it become 1 and here 0. Now, once again, whatever x bar we have, just once again negate it. 1 here we have then 0 and here 0 we have 1. Therefore, x value equals to x double bar. If any variable, if it is two time complemented, then we will get the original value. Then we will prove this by using perfect induction method. For that, put x equals 1 one time, then put x equals 0 another time. Now, on the place of x, write on 1 double bar. That is equals to 1. x 1 double bar equals 1. This double bar will cancel. Then therefore, right hand side value equals left hand side value. Here also, for x put 0. Now 0 double bar equals 0. This double bar will cancel 0 equals 0. Therefore, right hand side value equals left hand side value. These are the things today you will study. The remaining thing, I am going to explain the previous class. Before starting that, once again I am going to recall. Today we explained regarding involution law, idempotence law 
as well as one more law we explained that is idempotence law, involution law as well as complementarity law. Next class remaining thing we will explain. Thank you for all of you.